You know a movie's special when it shows you a naked Scarlett Johansson and you don't get excited about it. Under the Skin is directed by Jonathan Glazer, co-written by Glazer and Walter Campbell, and it's very loosely based on this book written by Michelle Faber, and this movie stars Scarlett Johansson and lots of unsuspecting Scottish men who didn't know they were being filmed. Now, Under the Skin, the only thing I will say about its like plot or synopsis or anything is that it's about an alien who comes to Earth and, you know, she has to do something. That's pretty much all I can reveal. Now, I have a strange relationship with arthouse movies. Like, this movie's definitely an arthouse movie. And, you know, my experience with these kinds of films is that, you know, I've seen a lot of Filipina, like, experimental arthouse movies, and I just don't really get them. Like, for me, they're just a bit too left field. I just, you know, can't really grasp what they're trying to say. I do like, you know, the American ones I've been able to see. Like, there are just a few, you know, like, The Tree of Life and, you know, well, this. And in the end, like, the only way I can really boil it down is because, you know, I have a hard time, you know, reviewing movies like this because they're so unconventional. At the end of the day, I really, you know, I appreciate it as long as the filmmakers, it doesn't seem like they're, tr you know, overdoing, they're being experimental, you know. And honestly, as long as I react to it, like, even if not intellectually but emotionally, as long as I react to it, it's, it's worth it for me. Unfortunately, I have not been able to stop thinking about Under the Skin. I watched it last Saturday and it's just really, you know, under my skin. Like, I really just can't get it out of my thoughts. This movie looks great, it's acted very well, and it's so, so very creepy. It's really creepy. Now, whether you love or you hate this movie, if you see it, uh, there's no denying one thing, though, that this movie looks incredible. Like, the visuals in this movie are very, very stunning. And, you know, Scotland is where this movie takes place, and it's kind of like the perfect geography because it does have like lots of mist and all of that and I really do feel like when you're watching like the visuals and the scenery in this movie it feels like you're seeing the world again you know like for the first time or at least through an alien's eyes there's an air of mysticism over everything that you know adds to the unease that builds throughout this movie this movie also does this thing where it superimposes a bunch of images together and you get like an interesting kind of abstract image and I actually thought that was really intriguing because it, it for me it kind of reflected like the thought process of this alien walking around. Now, you might find them pretentious, I completely understand that, but for me at least I had fun, fun, you know, just kind of dissecting the images I was seeing. And there's some great special effects in this movie, like they only use like real CGI I think, like it's a, you know a couple of points in this movie, but they are very very good and they really do help with the creepy parts. Like there is one part in this movie that happens in the middle that I thought was just so disturbing that I, you know, I jumped up in my seat and I was like that for the rest of the movie. It was the scariest thing I had seen in a movie since, like, The Conjuring. Now, make no mistake, this movie is slow-paced. It's definitely quite a slow movie, but, you know, I personally was never bored because, you know, things were always happening and I think the movie gave me enough to chew on for me to kind of, you know, reflect while the slow parts are going on. And I appreciate that, you know, like the movie really did, you know, keep me on one track while it was going on. It didn't throw a bunch of random ideas at me and, you know, told me, hey, figure it out for yourself. It really just kind of held my hand a bit throughout the whole thing. So I really was invested in everything. And when the creepy stuff started happening, I was really in it because I was creeped out. And speaking of creepy, again, the music in this movie is incredibly creepy. It's so, you know, I just don't want to hear it. Like if I hear it right now in the darkness, I'm probably gonna freak out. The music here plays at all the exact perfect times, it's never overdone, but at the same time, silence is just as creepy as this movie. Like, I'm not sure if I was more unnerved when there was the scary theme going on, or when there was complete silence. Like, both those times, I just, nah. Now, the story of Under the Skin, if you could call it really a story, it's actually very, very straightforward if you really think about it. And I think the simple story serves the artsy presentation very well because the worst thing that could happen in an art house movie is to have a convoluted plot in it. And thankfully, this one, it's pretty easy to follow, I think. And it's admirable how much this movie actually you know, explicitly tells us because it doesn't really say a lot. You know, there are barely scenes of dialogue in this movie. And, you know, I think that's fine because we didn't really need dialogue in this movie anyway. Still, the dialogue that is there is designed to kind of, you know, not reveal anything just to kind of, again, hold our hands as we try to interpret this movie. And I personally found Scarlett Johansson's character pretty interesting because I couldn't quite put my finger on her, like I didn't really know what she was going to do next and I didn't know how she felt about her mission. 
And speaking of Scarlett Johansson, she pulls a great performance in this movie because, you know, she doesn't really speak and she just, you know, she shows such genuine emotion through just her face and just a few lines. Whenever she's talking to like a stranger in this movie, it's just the right amount of creepy and intrusive and it doesn't really feel like she's trying so hard at all to kind of put up this front. You do buy the fact that she is this alien walking around, you don't think it was Scarlett Johansson talking to a bunch of random people. But as this movie progresses, she gets a bit more, you know, vulnerable, you see fear in her and when she gets scared, she gets really scared. I was scared for her. But really, Jonathan Glazer, the director, is really the thank for this movie because his control over the elements and like the tools he has at his disposal, it's just so masterful. Everything that happens in this movie, everything he does, feels so well thought out and calculated. The way he does certain shots, the way he you know, puts music into certain scenes, it's very, very meticulous. Also, it's great, I think, how the way they you know, rigged up the van that Scarlett Johansson's character uses to include that, like, all these hidden cameras. I think that was great. Like, they didn't just stick with one hidden camera. It really allowed us to get you know, different views and make it still feel cinematic. And also, and this is like a huge compliment, at least for me, is that this tone, the tone in this movie, the creepiness, it's so consistent. The most consistent tone I've seen in a movie all year in such a long time. Like, it never, never breaks concentration. It is just so disturbing the entire time. Like, even the smallest things, the quiet moments become unbearably scary, at least for me. In terms of my problems in this movie, for one, like you can't really hear a lot of what the characters say. Thankfully, they don't say that much. But you know, the scenes where there are dialogue, you don't really hear what they're saying. And you know, I get that might be the fault of the the, the rigs and the equipment. But couldn't you fix that in like post production? And my other problem in this movie is that I don't agree that a certain character is not the ending of the movie. Like I can't really spoil it, but let's just say that there's a character who, you know, is always at certain places. And at the end of the movie. This character is not there, so like I just didn't really buy that. I thought it's inconsistent with the story. But other than that, I actually do think Under the Skin is a great film. Um, like apologies to my friend who I watched this with, but you know I really this is the kind of movie that got better the more I thought about it. If you do plan to see Under the Skin, I actually recommend that you do be prepared because it's not obviously not the conventional kind of filmmaking, and it's very very disturbing at points. But I do think it's actually a good starting point for you know art house movies if you want to get into arty, artsy cinema. Like, this is a good stepping stone. Okay, so that's my review of Under the Skin. Have you guys seen it? What do you think about it? If you have seen it, whether you loved it or you hated it, whether you agree with me or not, please leave me a comment. Let's have a conversation.